To learn and practice using the auto fold function, we're going to give this storefront an awning right here. So first, let's measure the height of where the awning is gonna start. I'll get my tape measure tool, T for tape. And from this edge, I'll click and release and move right up that blue axis. And I just wanna give it one foot between this column here and the awning. So one foot, enter. And then the same thing from the top down. From the bottom part of this roof line, click and release and type one foot, enter. So my awning is gonna span from this guideline to this guideline. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool, R for rectangle, and I'd like my awning to line up with this edge here. So I'm gonna create an inference point by just hovering, not clicking, just simply hovering over this endpoint. And you can see it's a little bit difficult to see with the texture, but a little string is created to create an inference click point here. So I'll go ahead and click and release there. And I'd like to do the same thing on the other side by hovering over this endpoint and then moving my cursor upwards. And I can see that string that it's created as a click point. I can release, and now I've created a rectangle on the face of that wall. And the only reason this is working as a rectangle separate from the building is because the building is already part of a group. All right, so this is going to be the starting point for our awning. I can get rid of those guidelines by going to Edit, Delete Guides. And now I'd like the reveal of my awning to be about a foot high. So I'm gonna create another line right here at one foot. Instead of measuring and drawing that, I can simply use the bottom edge along with my Move tool and create a copy by adding Option or Control if you're on a PC to create a copy. So with my move tool, I hit my option key or control on a PC and a little plus sign pops up. Click and release to create that copy. And I'll move right up that blue axis and type one foot enter. And so now I've separated this face from this face and we're getting some Z fighting and that's okay at this point. We're gonna move that away, but it's just because there's one face on top of another face on the exact same plane. And SketchUp doesn't know which one to show us. So let's go ahead and move that away. I'm going to select this face and start using the auto fold function. With it pre-selected, I'll hit my move tool and I'll click and release on that bottom corner. And now I'm moving it away from the building and this is the auto fold. If you're having a hard time getting it to move along the green axis, you can hit the left arrow key and that will move it nice and smoothly along that green axis. I'm gonna type two foot six, enter, so that the awning is two foot six from the building at the bottom. And now I can triple click and group this together. One, two, three, to grab all of the loose geometry, right click, make group. Now to continue to develop this awning, I can double click into the group to work on it. I'll grab my line tool, L for line, and build out the sides of this awning. So click and release on the end point, and I'm gonna hold down shift so that it locks an inference to this point. Click and release, and then click and release to create the shape here at the end. Now that I've created this shape, I'd like to go ahead and duplicate it on the other side. And instead of just drawing it over there, I'd like to just go ahead and select this, my select tool, and again, get my move tool plus option or control and create a copy, click and release and move that copy to the other side. All right, now the back face is showing because I created a copy from here and the back face was facing this way. So I'll simply right click and choose reverse faces. I'm gonna give this some color. So I'll hit the B for bucket and I'd like to just paint it this gray color. So I'll go ahead and hold down shift so that it paints the entire thing at once. If I simply just click around, it won't paint all of the faces at once, but holding down shift will paint all of the faces within this group in one shot. I can take this one step further and add some 3D text. Under tools, 3D text, I'm gonna type the store name which in this case is just great store. Click place. 
And now we've practiced using the autofold function to create an awning.